This is the bit of, it's a bit of material we're going to use to make the axle out of. <coughs> And it won't go through the it won't go through the mandrel of the layer, the spin of the layer that's too big. And if I was to try and machine this, this end of the this end of the bar here, it, it look, it's not running true. So what we'll have to do, we'll have to use the use a fixed steady to support this end so we can face it and get a centre mark in. Once I get a centre drill in the live centre we'll be able to machine it. So what I do, I set the I set the fixed steady up next to the chuck here, move it along to this end, then we're able to machine the end of that flat, square it up, drill it, put a centre in, then machine the end of the axle, then we can flip it over and do the other end. So the first thing we need to do is set up our fixed steady. Right, this is the, the fixed tape for this layer, I've actually shown this before. It sits on the on the visor's bed like that. It's clamped in place by a, a clamping bolt underneath like that. I made a spanner to be able to get into tighten that easier because it's quite awkward to get through. It was just an old span I cut, cut and welded at a, a more suitable angle so you can actually get in with it. I am going to go ridiculous but it's going to be, it's going to be tightened up. Right, what you've got, you've got three, three pads would come into contact with the job and steady it. These ones are actually cast iron. Sometimes I made of brass, bronze. Sometimes we've got little rollers on the end. These are just straightforward, plain. Cast iron. Clamp shut. In case we just, we just need my hand until they're, they're touching but not gripping. And you nip each one of these up and turn just a little bit, you can hear it and you can feel it. It feels quite nice. It won't be running the steady long, just long enough to face and send that to the end of the ball. You can only put grease in there to lubricate it. In the old days, you used to use white lead and tallow, but I think wheelbarrow and grease will suffice now. Right, the next thing is to move it up to this end so it can machine that end of the bar. That loosens off our fingers are all already being set. That bent spanner makes a massive difference, makes it much easier. Up to that end. Tighten into, tighten into place. A little bit of 
kilt. So it's just wheel bearing grease, ordinary multi purpose grease, bearing grease, nothing spectacular. That's closed down. You can hear it rubbing, but it's not, it's not too tight. I can't feel any play in it, so that, that'll do. All I'll do is keep an eye on my temperature, make sure it doesn't sort of get too hot. I'm telling it gets too hot because that smoke comes out of it. And so all I need to do now is face the end of the bar and centre drill it. Appreciate there's no way you could do this without it without the fix steady the bar would whip and flex. I just have to look at the pip on there because the tool is very slightly below centre height. Job centre drill now and take my take my drill truck out. Life centre goes in. Take my steady off. Finish with it. We'll leave it set though. I've got the other end of the, the other end of the bar to do. Remember. Just got centre up, it feels nice. So we've got our bar running nice and true. We'll machine this end, turn it over and do the other end. 